Okay, this is the B&K Model 606 Dynajet tube tester. It's just a fairly basic tube tester. I'm just going to go through the general operation of it and test a few tubes. I got some good ones and some known bad ones just to see if they show up as bad. Um, this doesn't check everything possible. I've seen cases where um, in the actual tube circuit it fails but on the tester it checks okay and it's usually something to do with the high voltage that's not generated by this tester. So it comes with this tube selector guide which is very useful. You wouldn't want to lose it. Um, very simple instructions. Look up the tube on the chart, set some switches, insert the tube in the socket, then there's a grid emission test. This button here. Basically just push it and it'll show good or reject the lower bar here. And then the quality, basically good or bad, it'll go up depending on what condition it's in. And then you also can check for shorts by rotating knob C through all of its positions. And I found that some of these tubes will have additional notes that might apply. So I'll start with, we'll take a, I believe it's a 6550. So you basically just find your row 6550 heater position 6. And that's which A, B, and C are 35, 6, and 5. 35, 6, 5. And then it's socket 3. And the filament has to warm up for the quality check to work and probably the grid emission. So I'll just go back to the instruction page here. I usually start with quality because you can see after it's warmed up you'll you'll know it's warmed up by the needle moving or not. So this one's in the good range. And I'll check grid emission, nothing. So basically rotate here and I'm watching this lamp here. It, there will be cases like the, here it's, I can see it's just blinking slightly as I switch. Um, but the in between from one position to the next you can ignore that. Basically you're looking for the light to stay on on one of these switch positions. So that tube checks okay. Another thing I do is I tap it with my finger, listen for rattling. If it's a combo amp where the tubes are like right next to the speaker, the vibration of the speaker will vibrate the tube and sometimes you can hear that rattling sound. Switch to a different type here, 6L6, got it highlighted here, it's such a common tube, 637153, so 637, 15, socket 3, you can see the filament starting to glow. Needles moving up. And it looks like it's good. Check greedy missions. Check for shorts. That one's good. I can feel the socket is loose from the glass, so that's not a good sign. This is a very used tube. Now I got a known defective tube here, and I believe this is a, I think it's an EL84. Yeah, EL84. I wrote on here just to keep track. 
Here's EL84. 636, 33, 1, 2, socket 2. No special notes on that one. Here's 1. So here it's showing good. Greedy missions. Let's see if it shows the short. Blink there, but that was between positions. So here's a good example of tube that checks okay in the tester, but it's actually not okay. I just know from probably having it in a guitar amp and after powering up the amp it would short. Sometimes you can tap on it and make it make something go wrong. But a good example why a tube tester like this isn't isn't a for sure thing. Just gives you some some confidence if it passes. Next one here 12AX7 looks like a Sovtech. I have this one marked out too. Now this is a preamp tube. It's got two sections to the tube that are identical so there's some extra there's an extra row of information here. So one's for one half and one's for the other half. So you start with you go to 12, 42, 10, 2, 2. 12, 42, 10, 2, socket 2. And I think this one has an X on it. So I, I mark this one as bad. It warms up pretty quick. So here, this side, this is checking one section. Um, you also have to go to switch position um, 7 on C. And that'd be the other half, so I go to 7 here. And that's checking good also. Let's see if I can... Greedy mission checks good. Check for shorts. So I'm not sure if this is another case where it might have been only when high voltage is applied that this one had an issue. You can check for microphonics. You can often hear if it's going to be microphonic just by listening to it, tapping it with your skin of your finger or fingernails. If you get like a high pitch, often if this is in a preamp circuit, it'll that same pitch will ring through the amp when there's vibration on the amp. This one actually sounds pretty good. Try another one here. This is a 6V6. Got a little mark on that one. 641153. 6. 41, 1, 5, socket 3. I've got an X on this one, so there's probably something wrong with this. Showing good there. 